Hello, uh, hello YouTube. I will be showing you quartz versus diamond. So um, let's get into it. I will be showing you the structure of a diamond and how it cuts glass versus the ability of quartz. And so this is the diamond right here. Let me show you the structure of it. If you can put it in perspective, uh, it looks like the same as corundum, the structure of a diamond, can look like corundum. So let me give you a good example of a scratch test. This is a tungsten carbide scrap, and it is rated 9 on the hardness scale. not gonna want to scratch as well. You can always hear it too. It's harder than the tool I'm trying to scratch it with. And this is a 9.1 on the scale. This drill bit is a carbide drill bit. And you can see I go to scratch it. It's just some little bit of dust of the carbide comes off onto and off of the stone. So underneath here is a diamond. And this is quartz. See the difference here? One will look huh. That one looks like it has structure to it. For sure. Uh, let's look at it scratching glass. So, um, cool fact is, um, when you scratch glass with the drill bit, it's really hard to get in it and go and scratch anything. So, um, it's a good, definite tool to look for Moses, a carbide scribe. See those scratches? I watch when I do it with quartz. Quartz will scratch a little bit. I'll be using the same pressure with the diamond. Same pressure here. So here's that spot over right here. Just gliding over the surface a little bit. You can see the glass is shaving off of its actual self and flying in there. Let's go a little bit harder. Over it's shaving the glass off of itself. And with quartz, if I go as hard as that it was, it doesn't leave all of that glass shavings. It just scratches it. See the difference? So one big diamond can out scratch a quart, quartz, obviously. Alright, thanks for watching.